All right, so I've got this minor thing I want to change in my list of uh, changes for restricted RPS. Basically, the chat boxes scroll by lines instead of pixels because they're using a, a flash text box and, and it, it scrolls by lines. Um, I have the idea, though, that I can instead have the text box extend out downwards and have it masked like how I do the sidebar list and notes. That way, it can have some nice, smooth pixel scrolling. First thing I learned is that I can't mask text boxes for whatever reason. So I need to put the text box inside of a movie clip. Uh, that's no big deal. But next, I want to do the text box extending. Flash text fields have an option called the auto size that are supposed to do this, but... Um, so it turns out that auto size needs to be applied basically every time the text is updated. No idea why. Also, I lost a ridiculous amount of time chasing what I thought were bugs with what I had changed, which turned out to be a bug in the testing player. For whatever reason, auto size won't display the text beyond the first couple lines in the test player and displays kinda but broken. If you use the debug player, you need to do a full publish to see if it's actually working. Awesome. So I've got it extending and masking. I'm all ready to move on to getting the scrolling in line with how I do it for in the sidebar and notes, but what is with this empty line I'm getting now? So I do some Google searching and I find a bunch of potential causes for the bugs and I start testing. One says it's because of the paragraph tags, which I'm pretty sure I added because of some other problem earlier, because why else would there be paragraph tags? So I, I take them out, no effect. Uh, another potential cause says not having paragraph tags, so I just put them back in. I also have to test everything in and out of test mode now, because, you know, fuck me. Next we have a claim that having HTML turned on by default instead of via the code causes it. So I turn off HTML mode in the properties and add it into the code. No, wait, it's already in the code, so it's not obeying the code at all. For whatever reason, that variable just doesn't fucking exist right away, so I'm just assigning it every time, like auto size, and, and now it works. No new lines out of nowhere doing whatever. Great. No, wait, it's still adding an empty line at the end. At, at the at the end <laughs> uh, so I went back to the paragraph stuff and I can get rid of the empty lines by making sure that uh, uh, there isn't a paragraph ending tag on the last line <laughs> but then it turns out there's a few other things not working and you realize the reason variables weren't existing was because you had stupidly made an undefined reference by defining it too early in the function and you move it move it down so that everything ends up being solved. It's all defined now and those things are getting called. You don't need the auto size and every other property being called every time it's being used. Uh, but the paragraph thing itself still needs to be a hack because that manic laughing that wasn't me being crazy. That was the that was the manic laugh of divine realization. <sighs> By the way, that didn't actually take six days. I'm exaggerating. It only took me two days. Two days to get slightly nicer looking scrolling. 